Hi, welcome to Active Bryant Systems. I'm Scott Bryant. I'd just like to talk to you today about hip replacement. Now, <laughs> it's quite funny. I was in the gym the other day and uh, just finished my workout, went to go upstairs, and there was a guy in the changing room that we started chatting, and uh, he'd had two hip replacements, okay? And he's in his early 50s having two hip replacements. And he was telling me the procedure of how they lay on your side and they bang it and they put it back in. And, and I said to him, did you do any rehabilitation training uh, to get you back in the gym? And he went, oh, no. And I went, oh, OK. I went, are you in any pain now? And he went, no, I'm not in any pain. And I went, oh, OK. And I went, so uh, if you don't mind me asking, you know, what's your workout? What, what do you do? And. He went, well, I ride to work, I ride to the gym, then I get in the gym, I ride again, then I do uh, a little bit of, uh, really little bit of weightlifting. Uh, I hate the Swiss ball, never use the Swiss ball, and, uh, you know, that's it, but I train seven days a week. And I'm like, hang on a minute, the guy is training seven days a week, he's just had a hip replacement, or two hip replacements. And he cannot see that he's overtraining. Okay, so the next day I went in the gym and uh, I was in the changing room again. And he's talking to another guy. They both know me. They both said hello. And uh, they're both talking about how they both had a hip replacement and how uh, both of them are in pain. So after my chat with him about him not being in pain, now he's in pain from doing the cross trainer. I said to him, have you had any soft tissue work done on the scars of, uh, of where he had the hip replacement? Oh, oh no, we haven't had any of that done. Uh, then I said to him, uh, so when you was going for your surgery and you finished it, what did the surgeon say to you? Oh, he said, within six weeks I can start playing squash again. Now, if all you was doing was playing squash that caused the problem in the first place, why the hell would you go back to it? So I said to him, have you been to see any corrective exercise specialist? He said, no. I said, so uh, do you document what you're doing training wise on a regular basis? He said, no. I said, so uh, have you had your posture assessed? Because he had really bad posture and, he's, and he had uh, too much anterior pelvic tilt. And uh, he said, no. So I'm like thinking in my brain that this guy is aging quite fast because he's in his 50s. He's not doing any, any weight training workout. He's not doing any Swiss ball workout. So he's not getting stabilization. He's not getting strength. But all he's doing is endurance work constantly all the time. So can you see where that may make the situation worse over time? And then after me speaking to him the first time, the second time he's complaining about the pain he's getting because he's training seven days a week. So in the Czech philosophy, less is always more. So if you're injured and you're in pain, that's the body going, slow down, do less, love me more, don't beat me up. And this is what many, many people are doing in the gym in which to lose body fat. Then there was two other trainers talking about how they've gained fat in the winter and how can they get it off mega rapidly? And I'm like, well, you know, it's winter time. You're going to store a little bit more body fat. Don't worry about it. Just keep exercising. And then when it comes to the summertime, it will come off again. Or look at your diet. And one of the guys was talking about how, you know, he has uh, protein drinks because that's all he can afford. But the two protein drinks he's buying are costing him 60 pounds a week when he could be spending that on good organic produce and meat in which to get still good muscle growth. And then when I see him in the gym, he, he, he had really bad spots on his back. And, you know, I said to him, you, you know, you've got really bad spots on your back. There's a liver issue. You need to, you know, watch your liver, trying to help him, you know, out of being helpful to people like I am. And uh, so I give him some advice to take some... Uh, milk thistle which will help cleanse his liver uh, so I hope he does that and we see his back clean right up but obviously he's take you know the the protein powder is causing a big big problem and I feel that lots of young guys 
including myself when I was younger, you know, I used to take a lot of uh, protein powder, anything to, to try and gain muscle mass. And then looking at Eugene Sandow, which Paul Check, you know, advocates, I realised it's not about uh, taking protein supplements and supplements in which to gain muscle mass. Muscle mass is about training and making sure that your hormones are balanced and that your diet is balanced and your sleep and rest is balanced and that you're getting everything that you should be and getting into the gym regular but not too regular in which to get the change in the body. Okay, so that's my rant for today about the gym and uh, hip replacements. Uh, but I don't know if many of you know, a lot of people that will, will run London marathons on a regular basis and do lots of running, they'll go through hip replacements as well because if, they're, if their atlas is out, which is C1 vertebrae, they'll have one leg longer than the other. And if you've got one leg longer than the other when you're running, what's that doing to the opposite hip? The one that's the shorter side. So over time, that's going to cause stress, that's going to cause problems, and uh, hopefully it won't wear out your hip, but it's happening to lots of people now, especially road runners and people like that. And that's why I don't do it, and I'm a strength athlete anyway. I like lifting heavy, heavy weights, and grunting and groaning in the gym is much more fun to me than running around the block for 20 miles. Uh, that's, that's not me. Okay, so that's my uh, rant for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, put it at the bottom. If you'd like to subscribe at the top, that would be great, that way or that way. Uh, thanks very much, and thank you for my prescribers out there. If you've got any questions or you'd like to ask something uh, anytime, let me know. Bye-bye.